Good morning, everyone. So I know there's been lots and lots of buzz going around about the new Prop 13 and how they want to change it. So I'm here to answer some questions because I have a lot of questions that are coming in. So I'm Lisa Measure with Remax Top Reducers, also known as Lisa's My Realtor. So I wanted to share a couple of things. First of all, what is Prop 13? Prop 13 was passed in 1978 and it keeps your property taxes low. So it both takes keeps the um, commercial properties as well as the residential properties low. So let's say you bought your home in the 70s and you bought it for $20,000, your property taxes are based on your purchase price. So it's based on that $20,000. So although the property values have increased massively and now your home may be worth a million dollars, you're still based on the $20,000 when you purchase the home. Now there is a caveat to where they increase your property taxes like 2% every year. So they do increase, but not to the scale of what the home values are. Now the property taxes get reassessed when you sell your home and a new buyer comes in and it's based on the new buyer's purchase price. So that's what Prop 13 is, and it's so important and so valuable for a lot of homeowners because it's helping you to be able to still maintain and still be able to afford your home. So if we have any changes to it, it is a big risk of many, many thousands, millions of people not being able to afford their homes anymore because the property taxes are so low, they may be paying less than $1,000 right now a year for their property taxes and if they get reassessed to the current values, now the property taxes are gonna go thousands of dollars forcing them out of their homes, which we want to preserve home ownership. We want to make sure that we can be able to have homeowners stay in their homes and not become renters or be, be forced out of their home because we are so heavily taxed. So a lot of the buzz that's going around right now is the repeal for Prop 13 or the the changes or known as split roll. So they're talking, the meaning the legislators are talking and wanting to put on the ballot a change for this. And the change that they are proposing is they're saying it's not gonna affect the home values because in the home property taxes because they're saying it's going to be for the commercial aspect only so they're wanting to reassess the commercial properties to the current values now homeowners i i urge you and taxpayers and voters i urge you please do not get caught up in this they're going to say that this is going to help our police officers this is going to help our schools and this is going to help our firemen and i'm all for helping all of those because our schools our firemen i give you guys props for everything that you guys do so we do need all those taxes but that's going to ultimately come back on us as the consumers so think about it if you have if they pass this to where we are going to have the property taxes assessed for the commercial properties. The commercial properties are then going to have higher property taxes, higher costs, and what are they gonna end up doing? They're gonna pass that cost on to their tenants who are then business owners. They could be a restaurant or they could be a number of different um, opportunities as far as businesses go, and they're going to then pass that expense on to the consumers. So we as the consumers, homeowners, renters, all of the above are going to be paying for this additional property taxes in one way, shape, or form. And this is also one way for them to dip their hands into changing Prop 13 and they're gonna say, okay, now we can change this and now it's just the next step that they're gonna be going after our property value, our property taxes on our single family residences. So I urge you, please, if you're out there, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. This is something that we want to um, spread the word, um, help everyone to understand that this is a very, very, very dangerous, slippery slope and a very hard, hard, hard aspect that we don't want this to happen. If we look at it too from the um, city council members, we here in California are, have a very, very low housing shortage and we are trying to be able to make it to where we have more housing to be able to help with our homelessness and to be able to have more affordable homes so that, that way then our kids that are 20, 30, still living with us wanting to have their own opportunity to be able to buy a house and to be able to be on their own and not having to live with us. So in order to have that happen, we need to be able, I lost my train of thought here, um, Oh, I know what I was saying. The, the city councils, we want them to be able to help new builds to build more homes so that we can help that, that fix that issue. But if this gets reassessed, 
remember the property taxes, whether it's commercial or single family residence, it's split up between the local. So the city gets a percentage of it, the state gets a percentage, and the state gets a percentage, and so does the county. So those three divisions get a portion of it so that it can then be spread out to the schools and the firemen and everywhere else that they need for the roads and all the different things that they need. So when you're looking at it from a building aspect and a rezoning aspect, when the city council is brought up to um, have a proposal of whether or not to put a commercial building in or to put a residential building in or to rezone it from a commercial to a single family residence and they now have the reassessed values and the property taxes for the commercial properties are going to be reassessed um, because of the change of Prop 13 that they're proposing. Now the commercial property taxes are gonna be here and the residential is gonna be here. So nine times out of 10, they're gonna go for the more revenue for the city and they're gonna be wanting just the commercial properties and you'll see more commercial properties being built and not any more home, homes, which we are we in desperate need here in, the, in um, California. So I, again, I urge you, please, I know they're gonna be saying out there, it's for the schools, it's for the firemen, it's for the police, and yes, we all need to help them, and yes, they they do so much for us, and thank you if you're a service member, and all of that, I, I do appreciate all that you do, and as our teachers, we need you as well, but this is gonna hurt us and the consumers in the long span of it. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. I'm happy to discuss this with you. I'm, I'm not the most knowledgeable. There is no prop number for this. They're gonna have to have another um, prop number as a, they're not gonna use Prop 13, they have to change it. So I urge you, to, we want to keep Prop 13 the same. We don't want any changes to it. They're coming after it because they need to find more money to borrow everything else that they have, but we are so heavily taxed. Let's protect home ownership. Let's protect Prop 13 and keep it as is, guys. It was passed set in 78, let's keep it. I urge you and pray, for, um, pray that you guys will listen. And if you have questions, feel free to give me a call. My number is 909. 583-7844. Remember, I'm all about educating, all about helping the homeowners, helping consumers to be able to understand the home buying process and protecting home ownership. It's, what I do as a realtor is so much more than just buying and selling houses. I actually help and I want to give back and I want to protect home ownership just like many of my fellow realtors. So if you guys could help me share this, get the word out there, let them, let everyone know, all your friends that are registered voters, tell them to register to vote if they're not registered to vote, first of all. And secondly, please do not change Prop 13. Let's keep it the same. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye.